Right, so the next bit of video, I'm doing it on the colour wash tile that I did earlier. And it's looking at building a design. So I would say try and do your designs bigger because they're easier to paint. And simple designs. So if you've got a lot of detail in them, it's harder to produce and get it looking really neat. So I'm going to do some basic shapes. So the first one I'm going to do is a star. So that's a star and then there's a heart and you can do these any size you like. And any colour you like and mix the colours up and such. So you might need to, I'm going to swap to my smaller brush because I'm not allowed. And with these you can do several coats, thinner coats is probably better than one fat coat. I know I seem to have a lot of paint on there, but just do the best you can. Take your time and if you make a mistake, you can wipe it off with the sponge and then start again. Okay, so that's the star. The thing to remember when you do this is or any pencil marks you write on the tile will be burnt off in the kiln when it's fired. So. There you go. Let's so say you just need to make sure you take your time. And have an even coat over it and let's say you'd let that dry and then you do another coat to make sure you've got enough paint on there so I'm just going to clean my brushes in the water and you can see where I've done these on that finished tile and then with the other background that I did that looks like grass I thought it'd be quite nice to do a butterfly and a flower. So, so I'm just cleaning my brushes and wiping them on the kitchen towel so they're not too wet. And then you can draw on your design. So for a butterfly, I do a head and a body with small circles and then a heart shape for the wings. And I just need to do an antennae as well, just to finish it off. I'm gonna say that pencil drawing will disappear once, once it's fired. Then you fill it in and again, you just take your time, make sure your brush is dry from the when you cleaned it. And I try to do the lighter colours and then work up to the darker colours. And again, you may want to do two or three coats on this because you've got the blue underneath and obviously you don't want that to show through when it's done. But do a coat, let it dry and then start again. You can also mix the paints, so say you've got a blue and a pink, you can mix it together and that will make a purple. So I'm going to do my wings purple. And again, you need to do two or three coats just to make sure you've got a really nice covering on there. And let it dry between coats.
Lastly, I'm going to do a flower. And I do a very simple flower. So I'm going to get some yellow to do the centre. So I've got the small brush and I just dot it on. And again, you might want to go over it a couple of times when it's dry. And then I'm going to use the pink to do the petals. And you just draw little lines all the way around. And when you're doing it, you can move the tile or the, whatever your piece of ceramic is so that you're not having to get your brush at a strange angle. It makes it easier to do. And there. And as I say, you'd probably want to do a second coat once it's done. And just to show you what the finished one looks like, here's one that I did earlier. And you can see the mottled of the background and then all the design features on it. Thank you for watching. Bye.